happy Easter, Anna. And I have to mute you. Oh, you have to unmute yourself. I'm unmuted. No, you're not. Welcome, everyone, to the Music Is Therapy Show, where I have the volume on my phone <laughs> turned up, and it's... <laughs> I'm using the clapper. That's what I call this thing. <laughs> the clapper. And welcome to uh, those in the chat. It is the L. Yeah. The L. <laughs> With an L. <laughs> I literally have an L on my forehead, because my name is loud. <laughs> Um, anyway, so we are going to have a fun show today. Not so serious, though, for some, maybe a serious religious occasion. Um, I grew up Catholic. I'm not sure. What, what was your denomination of force? Catholic, too, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I call it a force because you didn't get to choose it. But, you know, at the same time, I, I have uh, fond memories of my Catholic upbringing for the most part. You know, I didn't have any uh, real bad memories. I mean, there was a, the occasional odd interaction with some other religious person uh, whether it be a nun or a priest or or a person of the community that you know looked down on you for not being certainly rigid religious enough for them kind of thing you know that that's one of the the worst experiences i i had and my mother especially had uh you know um so we can talk about some stuff like that i think last year do you recall what was last year's show hey awk years no Scott? i don't i'm not sure Mr. whether Rich. i joined in that day uh, we got Unf and Believable here as well, celebrating. Wow, his, long uh, time no see. Funny day. Oh, he's been around. I've seen him in our shows. Uh, Mark's gas station, of course, internationally insane about eggs and bunnies and writing. It looks like Happy and Easter. What is that? Is that? A... Oh, it's a fist bump. Or I can't tell what that is. What is that little emoji? <laughs> Greasy monkey guitars is here. What's up, dude? I'm gonna take a sip of my Know Your Gear coffee mug because Know Your Coffee as well, right? Hmm. My drug of choice, as Dr. D. Nadell would always say, if you ever watched or listened to Dr. D. Nadell, he's one of my favorite uh, doctors talking science and knowledge about health and, and whatnot. The, um, uh, uh, great, great, wait a minute, internationally uh -huh. insane studios, that's the emoji you were worrying about? What was that? It's a hand that's writing a, with a pencil. Yeah, it's a, it looks like a writing writing thing, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> I guess he's writing Happy Easter to everyone. And we, <laughs> it's a pen. Yeah, it's a hand and pen emoji. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, ET 5150, who's not This is going very to, handy. He's going to hang out with us today <laughs> for an hour. We're going to make this a very strict one hour show because we've got a lot of events going on today. Right. As you can imagine, I grew up in a Catholic family, pretty big family. Um, and we always went to grandma's house or my aunt Mary's or sometimes another, my aunt Julia's or, you know, we, we went to somebody's house and we celebrated Easter, um, with, you know, the whole family, which I think at the height of it, um, at one point when my grandparents were still alive, there must've been 50 <laughs> people there, you know, wow. with the, the kids of the grandpa and grandma, right? And that's just on my 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 mom's side, because my dad's side's all in Hungary or in, in Australia. So you've got your your you know your grandma and grandpa, their three kids, and then five, four, and two cousins. And then some of them already had kids. You know, I have my, I had ten cousins, so I'm the oldest of eleven cousins on my mom's side of the family. And uh, we had you know. I mean, food galore, more food than you can possibly imagine. Yeah, that's right, dude. The Hungarian way in egg painting. Did you notice the eggs on the uh, on the uh, the thumb thumbnail? I always want to say it's thumbprint. <laughs> the thumb the thumbnail. <laughs> the thumbnail on the show, uh, or actually Hungarian style Easter egg painted. Um, they did, they have a very strong tradition in Hungary with the, the, traditionally seventy percent Catholic. Um, you know, but communism kind of messed, <laughs> messed that up a bit. Um, hey, Zach Long also here. What's up, dude? <laughs> Johnny Bean in the chat. Johnny in the chat. Johnny in the chat. What's I up? uh, I used uh, <laughs> for uh, sound purposes, I went to uh, uh, I watched a little bit of BC Ridges video. Hmm, was he doing a tutorial of sorts? I wish I could watch everyone's videos. I don't have time. I don't know. I really didn't get there yet because you, you came on. And I, I had a Oh, so. so he's doing something right now? 
it was just a, a video. Oh, a quick video. video. Oh, okay, I'm on, not saying I'm just, it, it was a video. Let me see if I can uh, share that. I'm going to go find it. Um, and then we can share that in the chat so other people can learn. That was you, right, BC Rich? BC Rich 581, right? Yeah. 581 videos. So you know I'm subscribed to him. Um, oh, well, we got him. He's going to be on, you know, whose show tonight? Ben Coombs. Awesome. Oh, no kidding. Nice. Very cool. So he, he had this fixing a floppy low B on a standard scale bass video. And then he has one that's uh, uh, bass videos. Let's see. More premier guitar mystery stocking video. Well, let's just go to his channel and see see what we find. Uh, okay. The videos. The latest video is on a, about like 19 minutes ago. It's about uh, Andromeda bass neck. Yeah, well, let's share it. that. Let's share that. Copy link. Okay, we're going to share BC Rich's show in the comments section of this show because why not? That's what we try to do here, right? Share. <laughs> All right, there we go. Right on. Go check that out, you guys. Hey, what's up? What's up, dude? So happy, happy, what do you call it? Happy Easter? It's happy Easter, right? <laughs> Happy Easter, well, everyone. I guess uh, it's, it's really really hard to say whether depends. it's a happy event. Yes, I guess it was. Depends it's on the... where you are around the world. I think uh, those who are of the Christian faith or have some, you know, um, memories or upbringing with Christianity in their lives, um, not everyone has had a happy, you know, experience with Christianity, that's for sure, right? A lot of bad, uh, bad things done in the name of God in all different kinds of religions, right? But we're going to try to talk about this on the positive side. Talk a little bit about uh, whatever your questions might be. It's a Q&A, you guys, because last year I think we talked about all the traditions. There's so many traditions around the world with, you know, it's starting with, did you know that Easter, the name for Easter, some say it might have come from the name Esther, but it may have also come from the pagan god Eoster, which was represented as a bunny <laughs> or a rabbit, <laughs> and hence where the bunny comes from in the you know combining of pagan traditions with christian traditions this is a smart thing that the christians did is they would combine and overlap the pagan traditions like of christmas with the tree that is a pagan thing you know uh the may the maypole you know and the whole thing with the maypole is a, a pagan tradition and then it was brought in you know for a celebration of combining it with easter with the celebration of Christ rising from the dead, you know, that that whole story, which some people fervently believe happened. And, you know, it's a it's a really it's a really uh hopeful and uplifting story in that sense, because the whole story of that is that this man was born uh apparently from God and not, you know, the woman wasn't impregnated by a man, but apparently by God, so by divine intervention, and then carried that baby to term. Just she was she was pregnant, I think, at the time she got married. Which in those days they would stone to death the woman, you know. But Joseph, uh, the the you know, I guess arranged marriage situation. He was an older man compared to her, and and in those days, you know, you you had arranged marriages, and people married into families so that the women could have a good home and be protected and. And um, in a lot of those older traditions, it was not as good to have women as much as men in the family, right? Some of these old, more right. patriarchal, right? Yeah, patriarchal societies where, you know, like in India too, uh, you know, they would rather have men born in the family than women in some sectors of that society, right? Because it's more uh, positive for for their. Uh, with the way the societies run, it's more patriarchal, right? Yeah, the fertility god. That's right. So thank you, ET fifty one fifty. He knows his uh, Eoster, Eoster uh, <laughs> uh, info there. I guess uh, I just learned about this stuff uh, last time, and then this time too. I kind of refreshed myself on world traditions around, you know, Easter celebrations and whatnot. And my, my friend, my, my friend uh, is like from. Uh, uh, Poland or some someplace over there. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, I can't remember exactly where it is, but he was, he had this thing where where you take a, a branch and, and you uh, like a Good Friday, you uh, you, you hit the butt, you 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 spank the women with, with, <laughs> the, with the with the switch. 
There you go. You spank them into uh, into uh, submission. Like, yes, or whatever. <laughs> and then, and then I know in the Hungarian tradition we do what's called locholash, which is we we're supposed to sprinkle the women with water to you know as a sign of fertility. But they take it really far in Hungary. Sometimes the the guys get a little over over zealous and they get entire buckets and they chase women around the village and b entire buckets at at a girl and drenched. You know so. I guess that something like that probably the same thing. A loss. It says <laughs> I should have done yeah, research. I, I should have really messaged him to uh, really get funny. the full story first. But uh, maybe I'll share it with you in another another episode. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so we had uh, something about share concert. Uh, let's see what's this. I saw a share concert in Hollywood Bowl, her farewell tour, and it was awesome, way better than expected. You know, she's she's been around since the '60s, man. I mean, she can she knows how to put on a show. You know, I I definitely go see Cher in concert. You know, I have their I got their yeah. album when it when it first came out. I remember, uh, yeah, I love you, babe, right? I, I, I got you, babe. I got you, babe. <laughs> See, I totally blew that. That's funny. But, um, yeah, <laughs> we'll use this a little bit today because it's going to be a fun day. Um, but what else can you guys tell us about Much uh, your better. Easter, Easter celebrations? Tell I us can about see your... everything clearly now. Oh, you got you got new glasses or what? No, I just, I just cleaned them. Oh, <laughs> I did that right before the show. My <laughs> sweetie is uh, struggling a little bit with her vision. She needs to probably go yeah. see the eye doctor and the optometrist and get her I go next month. upgraded or whatever. She was looking at, uh, we did a little walk around town here yesterday, which we haven't done ever. What's, I mean, we've gone into town and we've walked around a little bit here and there. But uh, we should have probably, I should have shot video of it or something, but we're just enjoying the day together. And I shot a couple pictures and put it up on my uh, Facebook page. Maybe I'll share some on Instagram as well. But um, maybe I did it on Insta. No, I did it on Facebook. Anyway, so we walked around a little bit and I took a few shots near the end or something like that. But it was really nice to just kind of walk from our place to downtown, which is about four or five block walk and do a little walking after a big lunch that we that we had together and um yeah you know a uh, nice nice afternoon of walking and looking at the shops and all kinds of stuff but of course it's all eastered out you know everything is all easter easter bunny easter egg everything is easter it was really kind of cool. all the storefronts are all, are all painted <clears throat> okay. in okay so some of the uh some of the traditions are rolling in here william de silva also here what's up yeah man so uh yeah so bc rich chimes in with the first uh tradition to be shared here we roast a turkey for Easter. No one in my family likes ham. <laughs> you know, we were having this conversation Friday night um, when I was over at my brother's, or was it Thursday? It was Thursday. And um, and he was, we were talking about, before John was there, we were talking about uh, that, that, yeah, nobody wants ham. You know, we just want to, I like the ham. I like the ham with a horseradish kind of mayonnaise sauce. Do you like that, Janice? Do you like ham? What happened? Your voice went away. It went away. <laughs> I thought I was going to sneeze. But, oh, okay. Uh, good. Good on yeah, you. Yeah, I, I don't like him at all, but it's, uh, you know, mm. once a year, twice a year. Yeah. The bone it. in, smoked ham, spiral cut. You don't, you go. Smoke. You don't I, I get smoked. You get smoked. <laughs> you smoke instead. <laughs> but speaking of smoke. Speaking of that, I got to share something with you after the show that I got. Okay. So but uh, I want to ask William. Uh, if he would just uh, uh, let me write his uh, his uh, SD. Just that? tell me what your uh, your uh, th I, I need a product, so I'm wondering if William could uh, just write in, uh, you know, to tell me what his website is, so I can get some glasses. Oh, what what's the website, William? Some website. Hmm. It's William, right? Who does 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 the glass? Oh, he does a glass picks. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, they can get some really oh, interesting sounds with that, like weird sounding chirps and stuff. It's really cool. You can do that. You can do the. Uh, you can do this thing really easily with it. Where is it? If those are those of you here that don't know about pedals and stuff, I, I doubt there's anyone here watching this that's not a gear person. But uh, analog man. Yes, the infamous 
the infamous Albatross pedal. <laughs> that thing does some weird trippy sounds. So uh, ET5150 prefers lamb. I, I enjoy lamb as well. So there you go. So yeah, Friday we good. had fish. We had fish Friday, which uh, was traditional in Catholic or Christian households for the most part. You don't eat other meats. You eat fish on Friday. It's called, uh, I guess, Good Friday, even though Christ apparently was crucified on that day. But that was to absolve everyone else of their sins. That's the hope. That's the hopeful message of it, I guess, right? That that if you if you ask for forgiveness, you. you can be forgiven and sin no more. Don't forget that part, because some people think, "Oh, I just get forgiven every time I do yeah. something bad. I just ask for forgiveness, and and then I can do it again and ask for forgiveness again." And no, 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 it's not the way it works. You're supposed to sin no more, right? Try to be a good person, and so that's kind of the hope of hopeful message of that religion, and 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 then it got changed up. You know, you you had. The, the Romans took over Catholicism and kind of made it into a more uh, authoritarian kind of thing to some degree. And then, and then throughout the ages, you know, the Spanish Inquisition. Oh my God, that was some fun times, right? <laughs> they had probably more weird torture machines created in those days than probably in any time in human history, <laughs> which is pretty messed up. But we're gonna get back to the positive, right? Um, yeah, I'll totally give up the hookup juice. Oh, Janice, the hookup <laughs> juice. That's <laughs> the juice. That's so funny. I totally give you the hookup, Janice. All right. Right on. You're going to get a hookup there, Janice. Right on. I have to find my picks because they're. I put them away and and they went away. They're, they're over there somewhere in my little uh, pick drawer, probably. Um, I haven't used them recently. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's Good Friday because the prophecy has been fulfilled. See, there we go. ET5150. Thank you. This is why I do this show. It's so cool. Hey, set up my Marshall. What's up, man? I was hoping that I'd get a good enough crowd in here today. I wasn't expecting too much because it's Sunday. It's the afternoon for a lot of you guys. But we got 21 people here. That's awesome. Thank you for joining. Yeah, Janice is your fangirl, man. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, and it was your birthday? Dude, I missed so many people's birthdays the other day. I think it was Ron's birthday yesterday. So you share a birthday with Ron Gunner, man. Gunner 54 or 45 or Ron, you know who we're talking about, right? Johnny's buddy. Um, my buddy as well. He's a cool guy. Um, my buddy too. Happy I birthday, hope. Marshall. Right on, man. Happy did did, uh, did me uh, um, yeah. tagging Marshall uh, from the StreamYard link? Oh, wow. One of the did, birthday did, yesterday too. Did it... Uh, did it go in blue? Yeah. Did, did, did it actually tag you, Marshall? Because I want to know if the capability is is tagged. Did it tag you, Marshall? Jeffy. Yeah, March 30th is the greatest day in history. That's right. Yeah, you know, so historically, this is a time of celebration because we're celebrating, you know, the pagans uh, celebrating the, the coming of spring and the beginnings of a new year with you know in the past people suffered a lot in winter because you know you didn't always have have uh things to eat it wasn't as as joyous and great to be outdoors <laughs> you know you were mostly stuck inside and uh and so when springtime came summertime came you know happy good times you know were to be had soon and so that was part of uh, the celebration of the uh the you know equinox right i think isn't it it's called the equinox um yeah oh you bought that wall pedal dude the guy about the wall oh you actually bought that i thought you were just showing me that being produced by randy rhodes old producer dude went on cool man we got to talk stories about that that's a very cool pedal he bought this high watt wall pedal that's or is it a volume pedal it's a wall wall very cool Ah. Eric Clapton, also born on the 30th. There you go. Right on. Yeah, right on. Ha happy Easter to everybody, right? Everybody's so He really lives in Ohio. Apparently, he lives really close by Ron, and Ron runs into him all the time. <laughs> and he called him Mr. Clapton one time, and yeah, that's funny. Sir Mr. Clapton. Who was he married to? I, I, I thought he was married to, some, to somebody... Uh... You know, 
I've British I've never I've never possibly, but it, you know, maybe they wanted to get away from Britain and their tabloid paparazzi people over there, right? <laughs> Not that we don't have that here, but it can get like to the point where you can't even live a normal life. Whereas some obscure little town somewhere in Ohio, you can live a normal life and no one will even know who you are until Ron outs you to everyone and then you know they have to move. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a high watt wall, isn't it? High watt? Yeah. Didn't know there was one, right? Yeah. Buddha wall. I, I just have the mini wall, which works great for me. But I don't use the wall a lot. But uh but yeah, maybe I should put that on the board for Tuesday's uh then die show kind of practice <laughs> what a name for a band right i don't know if that's going to be trouble for me or not but i'm i'm enjoying hanging out with my sister and playing it's music fantastic her, so. she she's got such a crazy sense of humor <laughs> and that's a lot where that kind of stuff comes from <laughs> but yeah so what else what what tell me some of you other guys does anybody here like have other traditions this time of year do you not celebrate uh, or care one, you know, you know, inch about uh, Easter and, and any of these kind of things? I mean, I've become more, um, you know, our family was never religious, like my mom and dad, but um, we did attend, you know, religious services. My parents were married in a church, you know, under the typical kind of, you know, uh, setting. Um you know, I've I've performed piano pieces for people's uh, funerals and other events, weddings. I've done you know sound for and music for weddings. So I guess you could call it kind of DJing. But um, usually I'll just put something in the background and then I'll play piano solo, usually for people. Um, so I've I've performed at variety of you know events like that um and then as a hungarian you know cultural uh folk singer dancer kind of guy um not that great at singing but <laughs> at least i don't think so but um but the dancing part was just always in our lives we we were always thrust into that by my grandmother who was a, a one of these people that liked to bring community together you know and she was a i would say one of the one of the pillars of the Hungarian community here early on, she and my grandfather, who was like the first president of the Hungarian club that they had here in San Francisco. Really? Yeah, and then my mom actually was the realtor who at the time she was in real estate found the building in San Francisco where they where they had the Hungarian center, which was transformed from the St. Stephen's club to the Hungarian center in San Francisco. And then that got sold and that money sits in investments and, and the proceeds of that interest always goes to other organizations throughout the Bay Area now, including the Hungarian Heritage Foundation, which this, and I remember in being in the first meeting where we start talking about, I was a board member um, and we we're talking about, uh, hey, we should start a foundation in the Bay Area because the Hungarian Center is no more and everyone's, you know, in their factions and separate little Hey, what's up, middle hippie dude? Happy Easter, man! Happy Pagan Bunny Day, Easter Day, <laughs> right? You probably know about that one, right? You're like a Viking or something, aren't you, Jeff? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man. What's up, internationally insane? Hello again, saying hi to everyone. And I did send links to Brent. If you want to jump in, jump in. You got it, right? Um, I sent a link to Johnny as well, so. If anyone else wants to jump in, let me know. I can send you a link. Jeff, if you want to jump in, <laughs> I'll send you a link. But uh, but if you're just popping in to say hi, I know you got a lot of a lot of things going on on a Sunday, right? Um, someday we got to do that interview show or that that you know show with you. Um, we have to figure out a different day though, right? Because usually these are the bad days. Like now, I do the Wednesday show, but you usually do the uh, mom show on a Wednesday, the month of metal. Are you doing one this this month? I gotta, I gotta watch your shows. I haven't watched lately. Sorry, <laughs> well, I can barely have time for my, my own self. I... And to be honest, I've been like doing a lot of YouTube viewing of like all these kinds of really interesting, topic stuff. I, I like to get off the subject of music sometimes. But go ahead, Janice. Sorry. I, I kind of like haven't watched a video in. Oh, you didn't get a link. A long time with YouTube, maybe one or two a day because I, I just can't. 
handle it at all. I'm in such a media meltdown. It's unbelievable. Yeah, sometimes you got to take a break from it, right? <laughs> no. How can I take a break? Janice is like, she lives for this stuff. Well, it's all right. Just send your link. Really, right? it's really satisfying me, right. and I I feel no uh, pressure to even leave the house because I'm so mm -hmm. so satisfied and fulfilled by all this online uh, interaction that I have with, with everybody. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, I think that's what's really nice for a lot of people. That especially if you live in an area like yours where you're a little bit rural, right? It's hard to get to people. No, I'm in a big city. Oh, I thought you were more because from what I remember seeing pictures of your place, you look like you're on. Well, woods. that's that's my place. I, I, it's... <laughs> I Believe me, nothing, nothing, ar nothing around here looks like where where I live in my house. Yeah, BC. I, I, it's, like, like like, it's like I do live in the woods, but in the in a big yeah. city of 139,000 people. Oh, okay, pretty good sized city. Yeah, nice. Yeah, right on, BC Rich. You know. Honestly, that's another reason why I've been missing a lot of videos. I, I have been playing more. So I've been hanging with my sister and playing. We're trying to set up her garage as a place, but I got to put a new uh, lock and a new like uh, closer mechanism set up on her uh, her garage so it's more secure. Um, BC Rich is in a really rural area. Yeah. Right on. I just asked my friend uh, why he used the stick. So what else? What else do you guys? We have. We also have eggs, and I'm doing the tr typically traditional Thanksgiving crunchy onion over um, the greens, you know, string beans kind of thing. It's Brent. Hey, now. hey. what's up, dude? Happy Easter. You can turn yourself Easter. up a little if you want. I, think you... I don't know if I can come up any. Okay, let me see. Uh, I have the I have the audio set to automatic. So maybe okay. I can just boost it a little bit. Yeah. How's that? Pretty Check cool. one. Oh, good. That's pretty good right there. I'm clear. What does everyone cool. else say in the chat? Are we pretty equal volume? Like. Yeah. How am I doing? Look at that thing. I like that red letters and all and chrome. Is that metal? It's like. Is oh it yeah, heavy? that's heavy. Dude, if you ever want to sell that, I'm buying it. I'm just telling you right now. That thing's sweet. I think it's really cool. That's sick looking. And and what else does it do? Is it just wall only? Or does it have extra yeah, little just, features? No, it's just wall. Just straight um, in but, and out? But little knobs? Oh, it does have a knob. No, it has a sweepable knob here, So and it's I, not I like a rotary. That. It doesn't click, so it's just like a smooth sweep. Nice. That's so nice. I like uh, that. you adjust the you know the <laughs> sweep of the wall. And he said you, you can also adjust it inside as well. He said there's That's an good. internal. There's an internal. Uh, you can change the, the way that the that it grips the potentiometer, whether higher or lower to change the sweep as well. So hmm. uh, nice. Yeah. yeah. And I, I guess that, in the end, he, he was saying that the, I can't remember his name, but he said Randy Rill's old producer is an old friend of his and he's, and he's oh, retired wow. and all that now, but he's like, he talked him into producing his album for him. Randy Rose. That was cool. Old producer. <laughs> old producer. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is it? Who produced Blizzard of Oz? It says uh, it says Bob Daisley and Lee Kersiak or Curse Lake. Curse Lake. He's answering me. Hey, what's up? LNM gets our corner also here. I was hoping you'd pop in, Martin, because I know Ooh, you're probably with family. Easter, Say hi to the kids and Ava. Right on. Yeah. It's this pretty, is the new cool. guitar. Yeah, dude, oh. I'm glad that you made the switch because I, I think that one has Paul a much better looking, nicer looking yep. burst. Yeah, the other one, I don't know why it was so dull, but it was pretty sad looking. Yeah, right? Hmm. And it looked like it had like a whiter black around the uh, perimeter. It did. Yeah. It did. Yeah. I didn't like that. It kind of yeah, like has the, the more the more teardrop, uh, more traditional teardrop, but but I think the right you know distance from the edge there too looks looks better. He said he doesn't know why he does. Let me see stick. that. Let me see that fretboard. It's hey, tradition. Brody, it's tradition from Paleolithic times. What is tradition from Paleolithic? The, the times? stick that he uses that on oh, Good Friday. Oh, the the whack my, my, whack, whack the kids in the butt or the girls in the butt stick. Yeah, the big the, yeah. <laughs> he, he, see, he doesn't even know why he's doing it, but he does it yeah. because it's tradition. 
Now you know. Yeah. I mean, we used to instead of the lotrolash, which is like to to um, pour water on something, um, the Hungarian tradition. When we were like in the Hungarian club when we were kids, we were told my mom would give us these little perfume things, and we had to spray the old ladies with the perfume. The boys, okay, and the girls got sprayed. The guys did the spraying, okay. There's some, you know, you know what it's all about. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Zach Um, and the old ladies would have to give us money, so we'd be like going up to the old ladies, spraying them all day long. They were getting a little annoyed with us, you know. But it was kind of funny. There we go. They're like, okay, it's enough. Thank you. You know, here's another dollar. You know, or fifty cents or whatever, or quarter. <laughs> yeah, right. That was like macing them for money. That's funny. Exactly. <laughs> but um, I have a lot of really great memories growing up in the Bay Area as a Hungarian American, you know, um, only a few negative, you know, uh, memories of anything related to being. Uh, uh, and I had some, you know, memories of being an immigrant uh, son here, you know, an immigrant son. Uh, that would be a cool song because it's the immigrant song. But what about the immigrant son? <laughs> <laughs> it's fortunate well, son cool, right i've always thought about writing a book about my grandmother you know but maybe i'll wait until my mom passes away and then i'll write a book about all of them <laughs> i'm writing a non-fiction <laughs> book or, no I'm, write, I'm writing a fiction book right now actually i started oh, yeah, it just you remember you told me hobby. about that you were planning on doing that that's all awesome. yeah i just i just wrote a few you know a few paragraphs down just to get some ideas down uh, it's fun it's a fun little way to spend some time <clears throat> right on haven't your memoirs a week oh that's great oh that's good that you're having some friend over and you're not even you haven't even turned the pc on right on man that's great to just like disconnect from technology sometimes right well thank you for all you guys coming here was, we still got a good you know 25 minutes or so here um you know i just wanted to give people a space to hang out here if they don't have family or they're not going out somewhere today or doing something with family or friends for easter and if you're not a celebrator of if that's a word celebrator of easter <laughs> um you know hang with us a little bit here and and then uh what else what about you brent what was the traditional kind of like uh typical when you were a kid anyway because probably when you yeah. get older like now you don't really celebrate as much you still get together but when you're a kid, it seems to be much more of like a lot of these holidays become all about the kids, right? Yeah, no, it is about the kids <laughs> for sure. And, you know, giving them a good childhood and trying to, you know, have right. good experiences and all that. But that oh, was, you, you know, it was a it was a thing. We used to go to this really big park here in Sacramento. It's one of the biggest uh -huh. parks here in Sacramento. We'd go there and just uh, basically picnic we just had invite the whole family out and just have a day out at the park kind of thing that's and, a great you know, idea we'd hide, yeah. hide easter eggs and whatever else and there was a basketball court so i inevitably inevitably end up playing basketball <laughs> and just uh, it was always a good time i miss those days honestly but yeah getting right. together at my mom's house today for some lunch slash dinner and, and that should be nice though too nice right on say hi to them we have to play some golf with them again that was fun yeah that one time we went out yeah yeah. How about your dad? He does he golf or he's not a golfer? No, he golfs some, but he's not. I mean, he golfs some. Yeah. He's what else? Is, good at it. is he like a fisherman or a hunter or anything like that? Or he's the you know, he's, he's he's a metal the... guy. He works with metal. Oh, okay. He's a, he's a machinist and uh, metal like worker. Dad. So, so yeah. he does. That's that's what he does a lot of his time. He's big into motorcycles. Oh, right on. Yeah, I love motorcycles. I, I never really got good at riding them. <laughs> <laughs> that first experience at 13 breaking my two front teeth on a motorcycle kind of messed yeah. me up <laughs> no i'm i'm pretty good on a bike uh, i used to be pretty quick uh, yeah i think i think a number of things freak me out about it for one i don't have any vision to my left so there you go right <laughs> just instant instant problems with not being able to see what's coming at you from the left so there's a lot of reasons why for me motorcycles are probably a big no-no um, um yeah. my my friend is <clears throat> is in the czech republic he's he's in prague right now oh wow he's in prague wow he used to hang out with us uh in uh here in america but he kind of like the got deported so he, oh. he had to go he had to go back home did he did he ever celebrate easter with you guys yeah it was, yeah that was, one of, was part which, of the family kind of yeah well we had we all hung out together just our big gang well, there you go, Jeff T. I remember oh, getting Marcia, 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 51. Didn't that come out? So I think this last couple of weeks was a flurry of Van Halen 
anniversary album releases, right? So anniversary of every album release right around this time. Cause it makes sense, you know, when you're, you're a band like that, that was touring and then making records that they'd be touring. And then during the winter they, they'd record, you know, cause it's not fun touring during the winter. And that's why everyone likes Nam in January because you know, it's better in January because it's like, you know, you're not touring as much in January. So most people can, hit hit la for that big event um but yeah they they had a lot of uh of records come out right around you know the beginning or before springtime because that's when you you put them out right so i bet prague is beautiful i've i've never been to prague and i've been like man it's one of those one of those cities that, that i really always wanted to go to yeah the czech republic it's right above above hungary so it's not that far to there is actually a Danube cruise that we can take from like Budapest up to there and maybe take a train back or come back down with the with the boat too. There's different ways to do it, but um, we're planning our, our, our late summer, early fall uh, visit to Europe in uh, mid-September. Uh, should be great. And that's actually the time when they're having the Guitar Summit, by the way, Martin. So I'm trying to figure out a way to sneak away from my... <laughs> <laughs> or sneak it in, you know. Yes. I'll just sneak in a day of, uh, but but isn't it in Germany? So I have to like, get, where is it in? Like, God, I don't know if it's in Frankfurt or where is Guitar Summit. But um, I have to figure that out somehow. Because <laughs> then I'll see Henning there, and I'll see you know all the all the European people that I missed the last year because I saw him the year before at Henning's at Gear Street Four, <laughs> or I I like to call Cuatro. I think they they missed an opportunity for a better name. They should have called it Cuatro. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. So what else with you guys on this day? So so what else are you guys gonna? You know, traditionally Hungarians will also typically do a Hungarian dish as well. So we'll have the hard boiled egg thing, of course, but we'll have ham sometimes too. That's pretty traditional. But sometimes we'll do a, a stuffed cabbage, which is really yummy. Hungarian stuffed cabbage. Menheim, Mannheim. Okay, yes. Four hours from your place. Let's see where's Mannheim. I'm gonna look it up on the uh, the map here. Mannheim, Germany. Here we go. All right. Okay, I see where it is. Mannheim. Oh, it's right below Frankfurt. Okay. Yeah. And I have a little <laughs> heart. There's a little heart right on where you live. So I have that there. And I have Henning's. Martian Marie, no, but that sounds like a blast. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that, that could be a whole new tradition, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a blast. Wow. I bet you that baseball feels not going to smell too good in the morning, though. <laughs> you actually had to hit, oh, yeah. hit it? You actually had well, to hit the bat with well, it. Hopefully, hopefully they're hard boiled because <laughs> if if somebody throws one at you when that's not just to mess with you, oh, that would be oh, that would be mean. Oh my god! But yeah, wow, that would be something. Oh my god, I've got this. I can toss this one around. Celestian soccer ball. Yeah, but um, what else, man? So what else, you guys? <laughs> traditions. Oh, yeah, my grandma's backyard. Wow. So when the kids couldn't find him, <laughs> is that what you guys did? Oh, I better turn that on. The battery. Got to get the battery. Keep the battery going on the laptop here. Golf with a hard-boiled egg. Now, that would be rather challenging, I'd have to say. <laughs> That'd be fun, too. You'd have to use the uh, peewee golf kind of like, uh, you know, rubber, rubber-tipped... Uh, <laughs> little uh whatever you call them clubs do you have do you have a, a golf swing in your in your sound machine do i yeah no i don't think so well, i got a wooden right golf i got a wooden three wood like a real old one and oh, okay. that'd be fun to hit boiled eggs with <laughs> yeah no i don't have anything i mean this is the closest thing that might resemble some kind of a egg and golf thing <laughs> but uh yeah yeah that's and Glamy davis jr there. <laughs> and then janice's favorite 
<laughs> he, uh, <laughs> Janice is uh, you notice that I I shut the the sound bar off. Oh, oh, that that makes a difference, I think. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You sound good. You sound way better. Yeah, I think that makes a difference. Yeah. Well, cause I, you you didn't hear the sound yet of it going off, power off. Remember? Hey, BC Rich. Yeah, you are getting all the messages for the the summit show? Right on. Yeah, I'd like to see what they've got going on there. Yeah, yeah. Golf might be better. <laughs> we might have to start a new tradition, Brent. Yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, next Saturday, you want to come play some golf with uh, me and John and uh, Nick and stuff? We might go. Oh out. yeah, let's, yeah. Let's do that. It's uh, going to be their birthday uh, celebration, and um, we're going to have game night Saturday next week, which is like basically board games. Some people get bored at the board game night. I don't. I always enjoy my, <laughs> enjoy my hangout with my family. Last time we were really getting into the liars dice. <laughs> it's a really fun game. Um, it's not really a board game. It's just everybody gets a thing about dice, and you have to, you know, cheat your way around to see, you know, kind of get people to think you have something that you don't or whatever. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, golf might be better, right? Unless you're unless you're unless you're hitting from the green, Marsha Murray, right? Because <laughs> I can only imagine. Oh my god! Either way, either way, it would be a lot of fun. Absolutely, William the Silver, right? So, uh, so yeah. What else, you guys? Bring bring some questions. It's a Q and A. You could ask something totally off the subject of Easter, of course. Um, something about anything about what's going on with me and Brent in the studio stuff. The recent visit to uh that that store that we didn't do a very good job of streaming so we'll go back there again um luke's lobster you here. know yeah we we were that's awesome yeah we were unfortunately we didn't shoot any video we just did a live stream because johnny's like do a live stream do a live stream which i think was cool but i think it would have been more fun to be honest if we would have shot the the video the way i had in mind i actually took my um my um gimbal which I'm learning how to use, and it actually functioned fairly well for us, right? There was like one glitch at one point where I went whoop whoop like that. But I'm learning how to use that. With the app. I think it'd be good. Yeah, once I get uh, learning how to use the app, and there are some microphones that you can buy for that thing. They're not cheap, cheap, but you know, you get like you can get two microphones for like 300 bucks, but they're really high end Bluetooth mics, so no wires. And you know, you see people in YouTube videos nowadays going around holding this thing that has like a little dead cat fuzzy thing on the end it looks like it's like a little caterpillar that they're holding in front of people it's actually a, a wireless uh bluetooth mic and um this gimbal is set up to work with that and and it's called the dji uh six pro or something like that really and it's a really good gimbal great for doing uh videos and streaming and vlogging and and you can do like these cinematic kind of things where it has the spinning around thing. It has all that kind of, you can like almost shoot like movie quality looking stuff with it. So once I get good at that, right, it'll be really cool to use in here as well because I could use it in here for stuff instead of this. You know, um, I can use the phone um, and do shooting stuff in here. And I have some other phones and I, what I might do is I might actually upgrade this phone to a new one and keep this one and use it as a, you know, video shooting kind of phone because it's got such great camera in it right and just keep it for that and then have the newer upgraded phone for for that usually they come out in the middle of the summer or beginning of the summer new phones i was watching a uh a uh, uh you know the, the stories on uh, top on instagram last night the night mm -hmm. before and, and i saw that there was an advertisement for for one of these uh uh whole things for uh, your phone so you, you could uh, use different ways of using this thing so i ordered it cool yeah mine has like it has the the bottom um the attachment for it i mean the top <clears throat> it works like a typical camera kind of spin on kind of attachment so you can you know put it any kind of tripod will work with it so um, the last it, you said it your brother's birthday tripod. or nick's birthday um my my nephew nick's birthday and then john's is a month later but they're celebrating both i don't know why okay i got you both. my friend is the tall is, is the tall one in the uh oh wow it's the logo hold on. it's yanku hold it with two hands 
There we go. More stable. All right. So it's where, him right there. He? The, the guy with the, the stick. Guy. The tall guy. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. And, and here's me and there's Jim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see you there. All right. Wow. Great pictures. Great memories, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so we're going to do that celebration next week and play a little golf. Maybe we'll just do nine holes over there right nearby their place. So make it make it quick and easy. Um, half a day kind of thing. Because we did that 18 hole that one time. That was a little much. <laughs> we didn't even make it all the way. To, I think we made it to 14 or something like that. Or maybe no, we made it to like 16. 16, yeah. We skipped like two holes and yeah. Yeah, so the gimbal, Marsh and Murray, is actually just an just the thing that holds the phone. So it's it's made for uh, phones. Let me see if I'll put a link to it if you guys want to check it out on Amazon. I, I bought mine from Best Buy, but if you want to pick it up at Amazon, I'll just throw it up here. It's the DJI Six, and I just looked at what's the best, you know, what's the best one out there, and this one looked to me like it's the best one. Um, the one thing I learned that you have to realize with this thing is that if you have your phone, like I have one of these uh, special phone cases that has a slot for the, the e-pen, which is probably hidden oh, no kidding. on the couch right now. So I can draw on it when I'm doing estimates for work and stuff like that. I use use that you know feature. Um, but the, the e-pen is lost in the, the, I think it's in the couch right now. Um, but what this does is... Uh, in the couch. It's in the couch. The couch has eaten it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. How do I how do I get visit the Well that it has a different connotation. Right. So I'll I'll see how can I share this? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna copy this. Uh share. Copy. Okay. Yeah, what's cool about like a this violin, is, Brett. Uh really one of the best uh best like ones that you can get. So this is just a link to the Amazon. If you want to buy it elsewhere, go for it. But I bought it at Best Buy because, you know, I try to find a deal <laughs> on everything I get. And they had a great deal. So they had the better deal. That Besides, like, if there's any issues with it, I can take it to Best Buy. And, you know, sometimes I, Best Buy. Sometimes I play like an upright bass. Yeah. Like that? Like this. I like that pink guitar. That's cool. Yeah, so great, uh, great gimbal, and um, a lot of people have posted videos about how you can do like a variety of like cinematic kind of things with it. Got a bassy kind of tone. Thank it you. does. It's amazing how it's amazing how, how deep the, this guitar plays. It's almost like a baritone. Right? Mm -hmm. How do you have it tuned? It's just regular. Wow. Right on. But you have it going going through the PA though, right? Yeah. That's why, because your PA is full range. Yeah. And that's why you get the bassier bass bass. I, I yeah. love that. I just use the two strings most of the time. It's the oh, two man. E and A, and it really does a, you know, fine job of checking up all the uh, the tones you want, right, especially right. when you're doing the the bass parts in, in the synth people. You know the the bass notes in the in, in the uh, um, the background. That's what mm -hmm. I, that's what I play. Progression. Right on. So would you say the gonna... biggest advantage of the gimbal is just image stabilization, just how smooth it shoots yeah, the video? That's it. That's um, right. More than that. So you have the image stabilization, and then you also have like all these cinematic tricks that you can do with it, um, especially if you have it on a selfie stick kind of. It actually comes with a selfie stick attachment, so you have that. That becomes a stand as well. So the image stabilization is huge because, you know, it's a lot easier to watch a video, let's say that if you're at NAM or wherever, where it's not going like this the whole time, you know. 
when you turn around and like everything goes real fast this thing forces it to go slow so it definitely has more of a cinematic feel to how the the recordings are done and then there are a lot of things within the app once you get better at like once i get better at using the app it's going to be you know much better at at doing a variety of uh more cinematic level kind of video so higher quality video all around um zoom features you know all that kind of stuff so and for 150 bucks roughly right it's it's pretty good for that that kind of money for something that works that well and the battery life is pretty long too on that thing from what i understand so you know if you have it set up and you do the uh which i didn't even do yet balancing it with your phone kind of thing so that it, everything finds its perfect balance and the motor has to work less than to deal with stuff uh yeah it's it's great to have one if you're doing any video stuff for sure just seen chris buck use it too lately oh does he use one of those too chris buck is great man that guy can play <laughs> i love that guy's like just outright goes for the feel you know kind of dude amazing player yeah best purchase lucas and i made for making videos is a sure mv88 plus that mic picks up everything uh pretty much exactly as it is in the room cool i'll have to look into that um yeah because i'm sure it would the the dj the dij or dji dji yeah um gimbal will pair with other bluetooth devices or microphones as well you know, I was surprised yeah, to hear that. That uh, little microphone it looks pretty cool. I just looked it up. Yeah, right. See, and you can get two. You can get a two pack. It comes with chargers. So you know, it's smart if you're, let's say, you're doing interviews and stuff, and you can have one charging while the other one's being used. Or if you're interviewing someone, you know, they have one, you have one. Um, and they charge pretty quickly as well. So, so I'll have to test out how well it works for you know, things like like live sound and stuff like that but my phone does a pretty good job of it you guys heard the video of me and my sister right yes i mean that was just my phone across the room so that was it just standing up leaning up against something not even on any holder or anything so yeah it's usb <clears throat> or the one that i'm using now Oh, you're asking about Martin's, Janice. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I have a lav mic, but it's a plug-in kind, and I can't use it with my phone. And um, here I use the Blue Snowball, but I could also use the plug-in one for, you know, the lav mic that I have uh, for this kind of stuff here in the studio, which I should probably do more for the gear and demos thing because it would be probably better while I'm moving around demoing stuff that you hear my voice all the time. Kind of like how Steve from Boston does it that way too. Right. <clears throat> but if I get the uh, lab mics for the uh, gimbal thing and I use my, my, uh, I use my phone instead for video, then maybe it'll even be better with those mics. Cause Johnny's always telling me, Hey, use your phone to do, you know, the audio part of picking up your studio <clears throat> so anyway yeah this mic this mic is okay it's it's not you know it's a usb mic and the closer i get to it the better i sound probably right but i don't like to have the mic in my face and i learned that um rick beato how he does his videos he actually uses uh one of the zoom uh recorders right the stereo zoom audio recorders and then he has regular you know DSL cameras, or what do they call them? DSLR. <laughs> DSLR. <laughs> David Lee Roth cameras. <laughs> DLR. DSLR cameras. Uh, I guess, what does that stand for? Digital something lens. I don't know. Something like what that. DSL? What does DSL st stand for? DSLR. <clears throat> Yeah, micro USB on the. Mic. I just know SLR is without the digital, and then there's DSLR. <laughs> yeah, DLR, the DLR camera makes you look like Van Halen, makes you look like 
David Lee Roth, <laughs> everywhere you go. Single lens reflex. Okay, thank you. ET5150 with all the answers today. Thank you, man. Yeah, man, he's on it. Awesome. You are on it. Yeah. But I, I think Ben Coombs uses the same snowball mic, by the way. <laughs> I what? saw it one time. That's that yeah. snowball mic. You just have that into the uh, your laptop with the USB? Well, I have like this uh, USB, like there's about five things plugged into it. Because I've got these USB lights, like this thing right here. I'll shut it off and you'll see how it looks with it off. Oh. So I got a new side fill over here. Then I got this one over here right above me. And then I got the underwear lights over here, that Johnny B, as he calls them. So I got those shining that direction, but not too bright. I can make it brighter, but then it'll be too bright on my face because it's right over here. Um, but I've got like one of them standard like torch lights. Let me show you. And I've, I've got white t-shirts on them. I learned that trick early on learning, you know, like looking up how to shoot a video for YouTube. People were using like white plastic bags over Ugh. LED lights because it works. If you have cool lights that aren't hot, that don't get, you, know, you don't have to worry about melting the plastic, you know, but um, yeah. Anyway, but it, it diffuses it, you know, and then you have a more softer look. See, like, like Brent has a really hot white face on one side you know and then he's got the the refraction yeah, going the on sun. All around. It's the sun <laughs> janice you have like on one side you have you know brighter and one side but i have like you know pretty much my images do like, I? Pretty, pretty yeah see how your face is like somewhat you know that side is yeah well, that, that's the that's my slider is open you know right because you guys have slider. like you guys are using natural light see i have natural light too but i have it shut and off I, and i got like, my light up here too and i have that off that's why you're you get the glow because the upper yeah, because light, I, I can't see my, light on my head. I can't see my keys. I can't see my keys. <laughs> I know Boomster Black. We wake up way way too early. Well, it's eleven o'clock over here in the morning. It's about end of show time. It's it's, it's two o'clock here. Oh, right on. You did a course. Uh, you know, I had a free course that I tried to get my sweetie to go with me to when I bought a, a thirty-five millimeter camera way back in the day, and she didn't want to go. And I'm like, I should have just went. Because I would have learned a bunch of this stuff for free, you know. They had free classes, like like three or four free classes I was able to take, and didn't go to any of them. It's the most I played this guitar. Yeah, this thing's awesome. Right on, man. How does it feel? No, no, great. Like, bad fret ends. Uh oh. For that kind of money, that thing's pretty. Plug sick, in huh? as a matter of fact. Yeah, no, it's great. Now, and my tech yeah. set it up yesterday for me, so it's oh, that's cool. great. What's what's the typical like uh, relief that you like off the neck? Like, what's your distance? Almost like, none. Well, almost none. So, at your 12th almost fret, none. like, where are you at? Like, 0.75 or something, or what? Oh, no. It's still like there's still some space there, but it's basically just from the nut height. So, whatever mm -hmm. the nut height is set at, that's kind of, I try to leave the, the fretboard pretty much flat. It helps your intonation also. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But the way Johnny sets up his guitar, he has a lot more relief, but it still plays great. You know, I'm, I'm not so, I'm not sure how to set up a guitar that way, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of depends on your playing style too. And he plays so many different kinds of guitars that he he'll he's not used to one particular setup either. Yeah, it's five a.m. Sydney time, right? Yeah, dang, dude, you guys are way too Or you're still spread. awake, <laughs> gaming all night long, like Ron. Ron's probably going to bed right now. Our friend Ron Gunner. <laughs> so, anyone have any experience with the FX? Uh, the Aion FX? What's the Aion? I haven't heard of them. Is that a new like effects device or effects company? I haven't heard of. Yeah, right. Right, Alan M about the microphones. We should talk off air about this stuff another day because <laughs> I'm trying to upgrade, you know, things like this uh, slowly in the studio as I have time. <laughs> okay. My, my Real greatest quick, what, nemesis is time. <laughs> what do you know about MIDI? me midi yeah i know quite a bit about midi because M1 in the early D1. days i had to get really familiar with midi when we set up our studio and because i was a synth user back in the day so what do you want to know can i hook up my my yamaha dd11 to my to my synthesizer mm -hmm. just just hook one up to the other i'm just curious about that if, if well possible. you can go without yeah, with, you can, without having the uh 
the inside stuff over here. The yeah, button. basically, you can set one up as the controller. So one is the out, the other is the in. Right. Okay? So if you're going out of your your say whatever you want to use for sound into the in of the other one, then the one that it goes into will be controlling the one that's going out. Interesting. I yeah. If I'm if I remember correct, I could be saying it opposite though. <laughs> because I think no, that. no, actually, yeah, the out is controlling whatever it's going into. So let's say I used to have a MIDI controller by Roland called the A80. This is back in the late 80s, early 90s. I bought it. And the A80 is basically like an 88 key, you know, really good piano feeling kind of at that time. It was one of the better ones. Um, and it had a lot of uh, ability to control everything from aftertouch to, you know, the, the way it strikes, the feel sensitivity, right. call it, you know, touch sensitivity. And that's, that's all, what I was looking that's for. That's all these, so these, these knobs up, up here. Yeah. They, they, they do all that kind of thing. The, right. The, the, the beat of the arpeggiator. Oh, that's different. You're talking about LFOs and, and time-based yeah. kind of, you know, things. But this yeah. was more about just the feel of the keys itself when you depress them, how it felt. Actually, you know? they, they do so change those are the with more it. deeper, deeper MIDI kind of things you can do where you can set up your keyboard using MIDI, um, which is um, Music Instrument Digital Interface is what MIDI stands for. Basically, helps you uh, interface between other devices that also have midi so that's what it was basically a uh like the internet for keyboards you know it allows it to communicate with other similar you know devices that also have midi and, and then different devices have different though. capabilities of midi so go ahead thank you yeah. i mean brent i said janice doesn't like yes. interfaces though i know trying to avoid all that <laughs> Well, yeah, interface, yeah, you know, yeah, and I'm trying to avoid my own face. <laughs> it's, it's it's a different form of interfacing, so you can interface no, no, between your two enough. keyboards without an interface. <laughs> what? Uh, Say that again. Was asking about it's like, it'll help I you interface. Heard, I haven't heard of them. <laughs> oh my god! What so kits did you to... buy, Laz? What pedal what? kits did you buy? What do you mean pedal kits? Oh, the kits that I haven't built yet. I bought yeah. them from Build Your Own Kits, so BYOC, and I bought uh, from Stumac. Okay. So I have about six kits <laughs> that I need to build. So I have four that I want to build for my uh, for my uh, my flying pickle pedal thing that I'm going to build the pedal yeah. the bird the bird board that I'm going to put bird together board. and then yeah. <laughs> and then I hopefully I could do that this summer uh, or get to it at some point. And then I have the uh, the secret pedal board uh, the secret pedals that I'm trying to develop that I have all yeah. the parts for. So I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have one that's a, a, you know, a very transparent overdrive, as you know, and then there's gonna be a very transparent boost, probably. You know, those are the kind of things that you wanna first build with that secret pedal board uh, idea that I have <laughs> that I only shared with like two or three people in the world so far. <laughs> I think it's gonna be fun as hell. I think it's gonna be funny. Well, whatever uh, it is, you know, looking forward to you sharing it when you get yeah, it straightened yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my ideas that that i try to bring to fruition yeah but yeah booster black says it can also sync tempos because a lot of uh devices like synthesizers and like beatboxes and all those kinds of things right use midi and one of the biggest problems people always had was syncing things right so what midi uses is a, a time code called sympty that they also use in in recording studios and you can hook all these devices up so they follow the same beat so everything's on time really important when you say start doing something with synthesizers a lot of times there's uh time-based things going on that you have to have working in perfect you know i guess concert with each other right and lighting is also another another form of use of midi and sim simty you know time coding because you want to be able to time code everything to what's going on in the music at the exact time, right? So it, it can be quite a creative uh, and very, you know, difficult process if you don't have something like that that can hold it all together. And so that's what MIDI does. And there's MIDI 2 now. MIDI 2, I think, came out one or two years ago. MIDI 2.2, 2.0. So <laughs> and so there's mini, a lot MIDI. of new things. Yeah, there's a lot of new things with MIDI that I haven't even learned much about that that there's probably some yeah booster I, I saw that video you put out man the yeah. the rave tune the <laughs> rave from last night i didn't see it he put was out that on metal and hippie video. show or yeah, it was like, no just on his channel 
Oh, right on, man. I'll have to go check out your channel. Yeah, sure. me too. Yeah, I have a, I've, like I said, I've been doing a lot of learning stuff lately on, on YouTube, watching, learning, learning things. I, I like, you know, been watching a lot of that kind of stuff. So, yeah, William, I've been on the wait list for about two years now, which is, it's like nothing. I might not even get, <laughs> I might not even <laughs> get the King of Tone. Right on. Booms his middle. <laughs> yeah, right on, right? Boom. To the boom. <laughs> yeah, and the video was cool. That boom. The video was really cool. I was yeah. I was looking at my memories and and last year at this time we were watching your your uh, uh overnight stream metalhead hippie. Uh, oh the, Johnny Bean. Johnny Bean also coming yeah. in with the boom. The, those boom. overnight things I, I was with there with the spicy feather. <laughs> right on. Do you yeah, remember that? Guys, it's time to probably call it because I'm already 10 minutes yeah. past. Do you remember that? Yeah, those tiny solder joints are tough, I bet. I think that's where you have to have the right, the perfect temperature. You have to get good at, you know, dialing in the temperature, knowing, getting to know your, your soldering machine, your gun and all that, right? Yeah, to exactly. Be able to get good radio. at those, those things. Dead hand radio. Oh, the dead hand radio. Yeah, man. Yeah, was, we were watching that last year at this time. Right on. Oh, you're you're soldering a soldering. Is it soldering or soldering? It's soldering. <laughs> it's not today, so that should be good practice. Absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah you can get messy there. <laughs> Big soldering joints joints aren't going to hurt. Um, right on. So that's something I don't even know about. See, like, is it better to have a big blob or a little blob? You know, I still don't know what flux does. I've flux. I've soldered things several times that never use flux, and I don't know what it does. Flux, I believe, just helps it flow better. I know about reflux. The reflux. Da, da, da. No, I'm kidding. I think it flux, has flux, to do flux, with flux, the, flux. the ability of it to stick together or something, but I don't know. Acid reflux. I think it has something to do with the way it flows so that you have less air in there or something like something like you know something like that so that it has a better better flow rate so that it all kind of it's mixed together better I, I don't know something like that i think am i right et5150 yeah but anyway that's the show you guys i'm gonna end it because i gotta get going i'm all dressed up it must have been yesterday. Easter finder. I got yesterday's this in, uh, memories because I can't find it today. <laughs> I got this in in Egypt, you guys. This is made of Egyptian cotton. It's nice. All right. Kind of palm palm leaves, kind of a look, right? Okay, so we're, it sounds like we're both right on the yeah, yes, yeah, flows thing. and connection. So yeah, it helps with the helps with the bonding to the bare metal, and also helps with the flow. So it just makes it easier. <laughs> Cool. Good to know. Thank think, you, guys. I think I think when we bought the one time Johnny Bean here with the uh, Kramer, the white one, which I'm thankfully, hopefully, when weather is getting slowly gets better here, um, I can start working on that. But um, but yeah, the uh, the soldering that we did over here, I think it has like a combination of flux and solder all in one. Right? You can get those where it's yeah, all you can buy that for sure. Yeah, the sixty forty, right? With an open garage door, it <laughs> seems to be fine for me as a novice. Yeah. Yeah, you really need a don't want to be sniffing that. You know, like get a fan blowing it or sucking or, it. Or away a respirator. From you. Yeah, either that or just having the fan either sucking it away from you or blowing it away, whatever works. I kind of like the sucking away kind of idea because, you know, you probably get enough flow where it can suck the air <laughs> away. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and, and, you know, that way, you don't have to worry about it cooling it too fast with it blowing on it, right? That was my thinking. Rosin core, there you go. Hope Rody's a pro. He knows. Yeah, and you got to get the the sucker. Yeah, you got to get the, the syringe kit or two, <laughs> uh, dab it with a Q-tip. <laughs> a little dabble to you. Uh, you got oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, Eddie Faye, what's up, dude? Oh my like god. Cattle. Yeah, it works like a cattle. It's a Sunday yeah. show already now. Right it's officially a Sunday show. It, is it has turned the corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Well, <laughs> well, 
Thanks for joining. <laughs> I don't know where to go with that. Thanks for joining you guys on the show today. We had we had some interesting moments, some moments like this. <laughs> some moments like this. Some moments like this. <laughs> we had some fun moments. Uh, I don't yeah. think we had any moments like this. <laughs> we had mostly uh, no moments like this. That's true. <laughs> it, was, it was all pretty good. Not none of these. Very good, very good commentary. Yeah, great comments uh, from people sharing their Easter uh, Easter experiences. <laughs> and uh, William De Silva it, it, it got good good recommendations. Yeah, there you go. Right on. Yeah, some great uh, answers from fifty one fifty et fifty one fifty. Some recommendations, some knowledge on Easter, all about the uh, O Easter Bunny, uh, pagan uh, god from uh, the up north you know, European countries, <laughs> parts of the continent. And then, uh, and then, yeah, Palm Sunday, eating meat or not eating meat, having eggs and, and whatever. We had eggs this morning. I made a little medley of uh, red onion, bell peppers, red and yellow with some asparagus uh, on the, uh, on the pan, fried it like, like that, you know, and uh, some eggs over easy and uh, some toast. Some of my Dave's killer bread. Organic killer bread. Love that stuff. With a nice cup of coffee, which I'm just about done with right here. So join us next time, right? Johnny's show tonight, ASMR? Yeah. Johnny's going to be doing the ASMR show tonight. Uh, Brent, you did your Saturday show yesterday? No, I didn't. I, I worked late on Friday. I didn't, I didn't I, have the energy. I didn't think I saw, saw it up. I'm going to do it. Uh, my show is going to be like RJ Ronquillo's. Just whenever I can. Yeah, it. whenever you can get up and you're going to be like with your coffee and your pajamas there. Yeah. yeah. Whenever <laughs> there I can, go. that's what I'm going to do. Well, well, I got to get, get myself to streaming on YouTube uh, alongside with Twitch. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Absolutely. You can well, do why, why, why it. Why should I abandon my 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 true loyal people? Well, in, why, well, in yeah, you want to bring for, them all for the, there. For the, yeah. for the Twitch people who, who I don't even know what their loyalty to me is at all. But yeah, I, well, I know, you, uh, you I know, know that you guys are? Are, my, are my loyalty. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe people bring, later. Bring I don't know. Go to, to YouTube. I mean, YouTube's bigger than Twitch. Yes. Like, so you want to do it. Yeah. Which is because, so big. Because I, I, I consider you guys, like I was saying uh, yesterday on Johnny's show, I just uh, describe you guys as my good friends. I don't oh, that's even, a great idea. I, I, I don't even put the YouTube into it. Yeah. I say my friend Johnny B. I say my friend Brent. I say my friend Lance. I say all of you guys, my friend. I don't even say my friend from YouTube anymore. It's just because you guys yeah. are my friends yeah. in, in the true sense of the word. And I want to yeah, say I feel that. The same. I feel the same. Oh, Happy Easter, yeah. says uh, Martin. Say hi to Lucas for me, man. Um, yeah, dude. I mean, I think people like to watch people working. I had it was faint, like amazing to me how many people were watching me like doing some of the work stuff because they just like watching people work. Uh, Et would rather watch girls in a hot tub though, <laughs> and I don't blame him at all. I saw I saw two guys in a hot tub yesterday uh, in, in, the, in the Twitch preview. Was that a good thing or a bad thing? I, I don't know. <laughs> was it like the SNL hot tub uh, couple? Uh, I don't know what it was. I didn't see that thing. <laughs> That's so funny. It was the it was the featured <laughs> content in the top. You know. <laughs> That's the kind of content you can find on Twitch. You can find all kinds of stuff. All kinds really? Of, you, glass blowing and even people in the hot tub blowing. Who knows what's, what's going glass on there? Glass blowing. <laughs> all right. We're going to end it on that. Which At is least really you're not watching the grass the grow, Martin. <laughs> we can watch the uh, grass glow while you glass blow. <laughs> grass glow and I can't even, can't even say it. Glass grow while you glass blow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to end it finally. <laughs> Thank you very much. Happy Easter, yeah. everybody. Okay, keep keep your eyes peeled for Boomster and Dale at the end. Happy Easter, everybody. You guys all rock. Until rock next on, time, <laughs> rock on.